Welcome to this introduction to Global Bike Incorporated or GBI. Uh, we're using the latest version of this case study, the data for it, for version 2.4. Uh, it was written by Stefan Weidner, who's uh, one of the senior uh, people in the University Competence Centre at Munich. But there were two other authors, uh, Simhan Bagal and Jeff Word, and if you have looked at the lists of core texts in the handbook for this unit, you'll find that one of the core texts is written by them, and they have contributed to the lab program, the materials for it, that we're going to use in the labs. So this is an introduction to Global Bike Incorporated, a bicycle manufacturing company that makes road bikes and uh, hybrid bikes and other types of bikes. Uh, we're going to look at the Global Bike Group, uh, its organizational structure, its products, business partners, and the business processes that it has adopted. So the Global Bike Group, the background to it, um, there was a certain amount of global concern when the company was founded about using full ERP capabilities. Um, the company itself consists of two companies located in the USA and Germany under one holding company. Um, history, it was kind of joint development, two companies formed in two places and then merged together in 2001 to form Global Bike Incorporated. So John Davis won numerous mountain bike championships in the US and then in 1990 he started his own mountain bike company called Frankenstein Bikes. Peter Schwartz independently grew up on road bikes in the Black Forest, Germany. As a student he engineered ultralight composite frames. In 1993 he started his own bike frame company called Heidelberg Composites. The two of them, Davis and Schwartz, met in 2000 and that's what led to Global Bike Incorporated. They joined forces. So John and Peter are co-CEOs. Uh, this is quite common in uh, some companies, particularly in Germany, where you have um, two CEOs responsible for different parts of the business. Uh, John is responsible for, in terms of reporting, sales, marketing, service and support, IT finance and human resources. Uh, he sells the products and brings in the money. Whereas Peter is responsible for research, design, procurement and manufacturing groups, um, building products and, and spending money. The aim is to have built a world-class bicycle company serving both the professional and prosumer in touring and off-road racing. The focus on quality, toughness and performance. So this is a layout of the Global Bike Group, uh, where Global Bike Group would be considered the client level within SAP. And then you have two uh, companies under that, Global Bike Incorporated and Global Bike Germany GmbH. Uh, they would be company codes. So Global Bike Incorporated is the American company within the group and Global Bike Germany is the German uh, alternative. Global Bike in the USA has three plants in Dallas, Miami and San Diego. Whereas in uh, Germany he there are Heidelberg and Hamburg locations. And I think the Heidelberg location is the manufacturing centre. So this is really just a bit of um, added glossary to the case study and you don't need to re remember any of this, um, but just as the likely uh, layout of who be responsible. So you've got the chief financial officer in the USA and he has an accountant and a tre treasurer uh, and they deal with the finance side of things. There's a human resources manager um, with some staff um, and very similar in Germany that kind of thing. But you notice there that there is a plant manager um, and there is also a purchasing manager. So much of the manufacturing happens there. So what products do they make? Well, starting at the components they might buy in or generally they would buy in things like air pumps, elbow pads, that kind of thing. 
and these are accessories or they might be safety gear etc so they could be sold individually or as part of a bike order uh, raw materials are bought in here are some of those that are being used so derailleur gear assemblies off-road frames tires that kind of thing component parts in other words there are semi-finished goods so carbon composite wheel assembly and various other wheel assemblies and then finished goods things like touring bikes uh, deluxe and professional you've got the off-road bikes men and women's uh, so there are a limited number of finished goods being sold in the purposes of our case study these bikes are sold in different ways so you've got the american end of things where bikes are sold to for example big apple bikes in new york city uh, but in germany uh, capital bikes in berlin um, do the selling and each of those has got a, a um, customer number etc uh, there are vendors in the usa and germany who sell to uh, Global Bike Incorporated, uh, such as um, Dallas Bike Basics or uh, Grand Rapids Nuts and Bolts. These are companies that are actually providing parts to make bikes. And again, they have a supplier number. The business process involved in the company, as we've looked at before, involve uh, selling. So we'll look at that in the SD case study, fulfillment. Uh, then you've got uh, buying, procurement of those parts from those suppliers, making in production, production planning, um, tracking what's gone on in terms of where the finance finances have gone, buying components and selling bikes in financial accounting and budgeting for the company and adding the um, activity-based costs to the uh, variable costs and um, then we look at people uh, management in human capital management and there is also uh, processes involved in inventory and warehouse management um, asset management customer service and project management so cross-functional in integration well what is that uh, so we have these different functional areas, but actually the business process spans them and and effectively those departments act as a supplier to the process. So it's the business process that directs when things are wanted and what and why and when. Here's an example of a, an integrated set of processes. So you notice the three lines, SD, MM and FI sales and distribution, materials management, and financial accounting. And you can see that quite a lot of activity takes place in creating a customer, changing a customer, creating a customer inquiry and quotation, and then turning that into an order. Um, we need to be checking the stock status in materials management occasionally and procuring new components if we haven't got enough, and accounting for those transactions later in the green line there. Um, so. Here, this is what's called the order to cash process. Procure to cash process involves just materials management and financial accounting. So the vast majority of creating a vendor. So this is what would happen in the material management case study uh, with a little bit of interaction with financial accounting in terms of creating invoices, uh, posting payments to the vendor and displaying an up to date general ledger account balance. So that is the an overview of uh, Global Bike Incorporated and the business processes and products in, that it's involved with. And that gives you some background when you see uh, what's going on on the screen in the lab. Thank you very much.